Welcome to Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECN. In this week's episode, a three-story, 755-passenger concept plane, a mind-sweeping robot, and a sensor that detects medication. The Sky Whale might not sound like the greatest name in the world for an airplane, but it's a pretty apt description for this flying beast. The concept plane, whose full name is the AWWA Sky Whale, was designed by a Spanish designer and would be a large passenger plane capable of ferrying up to 755 people per flight. It's a three-story aircraft powered by four hybrid engines that can rotate up to 45 degrees to assist during takeoff and landing. It would feature three cabin classes ranging from the top level first class with sky views, a middle floor for business class, and a tourist class for regular people. The designers claim the plane would be equipped with a variety of potential materials, including alloys, ceramics, or fiber composites. They're even hoping to use self-healing skin and micro-solar cells as part of the structure and to produce some electric energy. The fuselage is separated from the main architecture of the plane in case of an emergency landing. If anything happened, the plane would actually partially break up to reduce damage. The active wings will be longer from tip to tip than today's planes and will utilize an active airflow control system. Here's hoping they get this whale off the ground soon. Here's, here's hoping. It's like a phrase. Is it not? Did I make that up? Shut up, it's a thing. Don't judge me. Moving on. There are millions of active landmines around the world and they're extremely dangerous. In fact, UNICEF estimates there are 110 million landmines hiding in the ground and they kill 800 people every year. Unfortunately, the task of clearing the mines is often prohibitively expensive or complicated, so researchers from the Institute of Systems and Robotics at Portugal's University of Coimbra have designed a robot with the capability to act as a minesweeper without putting any lives in danger. Started in 2012, the robot is equipped with navigation and localization sensors, a ground penetration radar, and custom robotic arm with a metal detector. This allows the robot to conduct its main tasks, understand and navigate terrain, and detect and localize landmines. One of the trickiest parts of administering medication is that everyone reacts differently to particular doses. Recommendations are made based on how the average person of an average height and average weight will react, but all bets are off when it comes to assessing an individual. This can be, at the very least, inconvenient, and at worst, it can be dangerous as each person's metabolism affects how effective the medication will be. Because this is a serious and ongoing issue, researchers at the University of California, Santa Barbara have created an implantable device that provides real-time readings on the amount of medication in an individual's bloodstream. The microfluidic instrument, called Medic, uses DNA strands that can be tuned to detect specific drugs to track how much is in the system. Though it's only been tested in rats, hopes are high that this device could one day allow doctors to assess exactly how much of a drug someone needs instead of having to wait for the reaction. That wraps up this week's episode. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your engineering update. These lights are so hot. That's just inappropriate. Stop. Research. <laughs> <laughs>